Hey, welcome back. This is MDog. This is another episode for our leveling guide to Fisher Online. And hey, I don't know how long this one will last. Um, and this is something that we'll probably do a lot of when we don't have a lot of time. We might just try to go get a daily done real quick if we um, do have time. Then maybe we'll, you know, not only work on dailies but work on just sort of general fishing as well. I wanted to fish here at. Um, What's this place called? Siberia. Nope. Travel. Siberia NSA. So this is one of the expansions, and obviously I need to switch back to here. Um, and last last episode I mentioned this place. I really like it a lot. Um, I still feel like we've got more that we can do at the pond. We also need to sort of progress to Germany. So I'm not trying to like hit these DLC maps too early too much, but they are really good. The daily today though, it's so good. I mean, look how much experience we get. Oh, what is it? 145,000, four angler tokens, and um, I think some income as well. So we're just kind of going for it here. The uh, daily is just, we just need like two kilos of Siberian dace. Now, that may take a while according to how big a dace we catch. We also have an income of two over 109 grams, which we've done one of because I wanted to confirm that they were in this spot. We're going to try fishing here off this pier. I, this is like right at where, where you start. Um, for what it's worth, I've also caught them down here in this like extra little river spot. So if they slow down here or whatever, we might... Can I get in that boat? I guess you can't get in that boat. Do you just use this boat? I was gonna like move the boat so we could fish there, but um, but I did catch that first one here off of this little this little dock. So I'm hoping they'll just start like rolling in or something uh, pretty quickly. But if they don't, then we might move spots a little bit. There's one. So we finished the income quest already. And we've got a long way to go on the daily, but you get such good results on the daily. Again, if um, why is it why is stuff like bugging out? Um, so if we can make it, maybe we don't get silver for the daily. Now that I'm looking at it, it's just a ton of experience. But more importantly, those angler tokens. But we will have incomes quests coming back up in ten minutes. So if we're so I don't know, this this may end up being a part one, just we need so mint, so much for the daily. I think it's worth doing, especially at this level. Um, but yeah, we'll see. All right, we're definitely gonna need maggots. I need to remember that once we get to fly fishing, that those bigger fly fishing leaders are sold here and we can travel here for free. So just need to remember that little tidbit. All right, so we'll see how this goes. I may have to jump on calls and stuff for work like briefly. If it ends up being too long, then we'll have to, you know, stop the episode or edit it out later. Which the only problem with that, it just takes forever to edit inside. Um inside youtube all right so we're at almost 500 grams i mean we're 464 grams we got to get just over two kilos so we've actually got a pretty good start here and it's like 244 in the morning i'm hoping that first thing in the morning this will start to pick up we do need to notice though like so we've caught three siberian days now Two of them went to the income quest, so we didn't get to see it. We're up to 236 silver, by the way, because of that income quest. That was like a killer quest. That was so good. Even if we never finish this daily, it was worth it to do the income. But so right now I've got size zero hooks and maggots on the first and third rod. The middle rod, I also have ground bait just to have ground bait on one. And I'm using larva bark beetle. Now, you can catch these uh, dace on both of those uh, baits. In fact, you can also catch them on the uh, mayfly larva that they sell here in particular. I think this is another one. No, that's a roach. Too bad. Um, 
So I just want to notice, like, do we get one on Lark bar Lark uh, Bark Larva Larva? Trying to speak here. Um, if we don't, then we'll just go back to maggots on all three. Mayfly Mayfly Larva is just too expensive of bait. It's worth it if you're going for whitefish and stuff, but if we're using it to go for Siberian Dace, I just don't think that makes sense. So we've got three fish. I don't think the silver you get at different places changes. So another thing I don't know, well, like would we get 9.4 silver for that at the Dakura Pond? I guess I could test it and take it with us and go sell it there if I remember. Um, but anyway, I mean, obviously this does give us a little bit of advantage being able to do dailies at these free DLC maps. You don't have to do it, but I love these maps. So if you're going to buy into this game, which how much does this game cost currently? So I'm assuming it's not on sale right now. Currently, it's $14.99. You get on sale for an even, even cheaper. But honestly, $14.99 for what you're getting is unbelievable. And then you've got a $5 DLC with Siberia, which is a no-brainer. And then $7 for the USA-Canada map, which I think is also worth it. Um, but that's going to be a little bit more personal taste. All right, so here is... This is the other thing we're catching so far. But at least it's nice sizes of them. It's not like we're catching little, like, tiny ones right now. And notice also both of these bites coming on maggots. In the time we've caught these two, bark lar larva has done nothing. Okay, we want those dace to get a little bigger if possible. So it won't it won't be long till I switch till I switch the third one, the, the middle one, back to maggots because right now it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. So we're level eight, but we only need 7,632 experience to get to level nine. And we're getting twice that much for finishing this one daily. But so we're going to end up being like our level is seems like it's going to be ahead of the game for a while now, especially if we hit a lot of these um, daily quests and such. But... You know that's okay I, I don't i don't really I, I don't feel pressure to i mean it just gives us more opportunities to do daily quests at different locations um but i'm much more interested in since this is my main account <laughs> i'm much more interested in sort of taking it methodically and trying to unlock all of the um oh yeah they're like coming in right now now they're small ones but they are coming in. I'm gonna give this just a teeny bit longer and then we're switching line too. I'm much more interested in like getting the bronze medals, slowly working on silver medals even. But we can real quick take a look at all the fish on this lake. Um, so over here, what you can't see that I'm covering up is Linnet, Grass Pike, and Tymon. Above that, Siberian, Bream, Arctic, Amul, and Togan. So that's all the fish on this right side. Other than that, I mean, you can see there's tons of, even though this isn't the biggest map, this, there's a ton of different fish species here. And then the USA DLC map is even bigger. All right, let's see what this is and what size it is. All right, it's a roach. I'm totally changing it. We're going maggots. I also probably won't keep the ground bait on for much longer. It seems unnecessary. But yeah, I mean, so I'm not going to worry about trying to get the the bronze medal on this by catching all the fish on the lake or the river until we have much better gear. I mean, if you look at things like the sturgeon and the sterlet, even uh, burbot would be a pain. Timon, I mean, come on. There's several of this fish species. Even if we caught a fairly small example of one of them, you know, we just don't have the gear for it. So this is just more to like pop in. A lot of times, the daily quests on these. DLC maps, a lot of times they are new player friendly. Things like this, the Siberian Dace, or I've seen like the Bream Daily. Uh, we saw Bluegill at the USA map.
So it looks like there's two places you can get off. You can get off on this island. That's the island that I'm used to folk fishing from. I'm sure we'll do that at some point because there's a really nice little bream spot over there. And then it looks like there's an island down there. Maybe it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. And you can get off the boat down there as well. I don't think I've ever fished off that island. Unfortunately, you can't do a lot of trolling here. I mean, I guess you could with one line. There's just not a boat for trolling. So, But there are a lot of predator fish. So I guess you have to go for those more with like spin fishing. Um, which I guess the thing to do with that would just be to take the boat out into the middle. Some of the deeper parts. And then just spin fish once you have the gear for it. We're going to hit another income quest in two minutes. It should still be good. Another 126 silver. That's awesome. Hopefully I'll remember. Yeah, I don't know. Part of me wants to like put one maybe diagonal right here. See if it's a little better bite rate. I do think we want to keep it shallow though for the days and I like I said I have fished down here into the more shallow areas and you can catch them down there as well but I don't know that that's any better bite rate in fact it might be worse so I'm trying to not do that and until we just unless we get to a place where we're just not catch them at all here my suspicion is this is the better spot but if we can get another one on this third rod I might move it more like diagonal just like right there They are slow right now, though. Hopefully, I don't know, 5, 6 a.m., something will start getting a little bit better bite rate and finish this off. I think it's worth finishing, but again, it looks like it's, I mean, the angler tokens is what it's more worth, worth it to me. We want to start stockpiling those angler tokens for all sorts of reasons. Some of the, like, best gear or even lures in the game are locked behind Angler tokens. All right, we can diagonal this for a few minutes, see if it works any better. So the perch are waking up. That's not a good thing. We don't want that. All right, so how much is a undersized perch worth? Everything right now is 26 silver, but that's mostly because of the crucians. These dates are hardly worth anything. And this is worth 0.3 silver. The other thing we don't want to do is we probably don't want to go fish for bream until we have a bigger net. Like right now we have the fish tank kid still. And that needs to be upgraded ASAP. Like, I don't even know. We can only hold 10 kilos of weight. So, you know, that doesn't grow with us at all. Like, when we go to Germany and start trying to fish for some carp, that's going to be bad news. We won't be able to keep some of the carp, potentially. And we'll have to be selling continuously. So, we want to upgrade. I think we even upgrade that before we get the carp setups at Germany. So probably the next big upgrade is a new fish tank. We'll just have to decide. You know, the only choice with that is like how often do you want to upgrade? You definitely do a small upgrade off of this. But then at some point the question is like, okay, let's just save for a while and get a really big one that we'll use for a long time versus getting every step of the way. And I can't remember if you can sell stuff in this game or not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Can I use the um, auction house yet? I still haven't figured out like when or what was that sound? 
Seriously, what was that sound? I still haven't figured out if you can, um, what level you can use the auction house. Not yet, apparently. You know, I'm also kind of wanting to go try over here. Maybe something like that. We'll see if we can hear it from over here. Oh, if this is a dace, it's going to be a great one. All right, we're over a kilo now. We are actually just under halfway like very close to halfway if we get another pretty quick bite over there I'm going to move another one over there it's 525 in the morning we really want these bites to be picking up That's a perch again, isn't it? Oh wait, quest. Siberian days. Okay, which one gives us the most? This? Do we have any we can use for the quest? Yes. Oh my goodness, we can get it already. Boom, we're at 413 silver. That is so OP. <laughs> that is so OP. Oh, so good. I mean, even if you're higher level, like, just go finish, you know, daily quest and when income quests match up, I mean, so good. So good. Yeah, I just don't like how long these bites are taking, though. Come on, be a dace. Give me hope that over here we can catch a... That's another perch. All right, we're moving it. We're moving it. Let's go sell the perch. So that's one reason to keep some stuff in your fish net if you know you've got a quest coming up that you're going to potentially take. So that perch at least is worth 1.8 silver. Uh, we can sell the roach too, I think. Uh, we've got room. Let's just hold them until we're sure. All right, how long? 
18 minutes. None of these will still be available. I don't remember how much carp setups are or how much we're going to spend on our next keep net, but this is so good. All right. So a lot of times when we throw a, a rod in a new place, it seems like it goes off almost immediately. So let's try something else. Come on, show us how it's done over here in this original spot. Yes, we are well over halfway now. Nothing yet. Let's go a little farther out. I guess if these don't start doing something pretty soon, I'm going to move them both back to the original spot. I wonder if we'd be better off using a float. The float's going to drift though, right? Let's just try it for a minute though. Let's just see what happens. Um, so I don't get the impression that these are like surface fish, although this is also very shallow right here. All right, can we get a bite before it passes us? I wonder if we could get it deep enough to actually drag it on the bottom so that it would slowly drift. I'm not really sure how this game handles drifting in a current with float fishing. All right, let's do this. Just for a minute. Come on, big money, big money. Uh, that's a perch. All right, if it's a perch, which it's not a dace, whatever it is. Oh, it's a nice little uh, grayling. That's cool. All right, either way, we're going back. <gasps> we're going back down here. All right, let's go to 1.5 depth. All right, I did say hit. Let's try 1.6. I can't tell if that was a bite or not, to be honest with you. Did you see that fish? That was crazy. Oh, we're getting bites now. Oh, man. What is this? It's another grayling. That is 
Awesome. And pretty good silver, actually. Are we onto something here? See if this like rubs on the bottom and slows it down at all. Maybe we try 1.75. We did get that large Siberian grayling on there though. I think we might have been onto something there. I'm not sure, but maybe. Ah, uh, the perch, man. Now that the perch are awake, it's kind of messing with us. No chance that's a grayling. I mean, a uh, dace. All right, do your thing. Hit the bottom. It never, it never drifted down. It's just straight up hitting the bottom, huh? So it was hitting the bottom last time. So we need to go to like 1.7 maybe. Oh yeah. It's funny because it's hitting the bottom, but then when it gets past a certain point, it gets deeper and then it goes normal. There it goes. Should be deep enough out here. We haven't gotten a dace yet on float, so I'll pull out the feeder again. Only thing I don't know if it'd be worth like really watching it for a second.
so the <laughs> the bait as is probably realistic if it doesn't have much weight on it it's like it looks like it's floating to the side uh, like beyond it right so it's not down it's not 1.6 meters down or whatever we have it at All right, let's go sell those graylings. I think those graylings are worth something, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh yeah, 44 silver for the big one. Goodness. That's huge. All right, there is nothing happening with this. So good try, did not work out. Worth looking at, but it just didn't happen. I'm getting tired of this slow bite rate though. Let's just go try something else. We're so close. And that might be the best place for it, but I'm willing to at least try down here for a couple minutes, see what happens. see still a current down here but it's off the main the main river I don't know I've caught them down here before but again I think that although this daily is like really good especially for low level I think it has always taken me a while to actually uh, finish it. So maybe there's a better spot. If you know of a better day spot, please let me know. Oh, I hope this is a dace, but I don't think it is. Another grayling, though. Right, we're getting some bites. So more shallow, we sit level nine, more shallow. We seem to hit the, we hit the dace deeper. We hit the grayling. Oh, and there is no silver rewards, at least as best I can tell. Maybe, does the silver not show up until you finish the bronze? I guess we'll find out next main, when we go to Germany next time or whatever. All right, we've gotten two days in a row in this spot. And nothing down here, so let's, let's change our approach with this one. We're getting a little full on our keep net, so let's let's get rid of those roach and the grayling. We'll be optimistic that we're going to need the room.
Anything? Yep. Two of them, actually. Come on, be a dace. If this isn't a dace, we'll throw this one more shallow. Ooh, it is. I love it. Come on, be a dace. We're getting dangerously close if this is a dace. I think it is. No. One minute, 45 seconds. This one's going to be gone, though, unless it gets replaced with another day, so we're not going to be able to do it. Oh, it's such a bummer. <laughs> oh, man. But they, they refresh every once in a while, so maybe we'll get lucky and get one more before we finish. Come on, big days. Big days. Don't be a roach. Is that already catching a fish? Why is it doing that? Yep. I love it. It's like when, as soon as you throw it in. This feels like a grayling. Or a honking perch. Ooh, that's worth some silver though. Holy cow. Oh, my crucian. Forty silver. We're up to five hundred thirty nine silver already. So slow. All right, let's check the quest. Okay. Let's 
try to get one or two more here and then we might move back to the pier see if we can finish it off there I tend to think that that spot's a little better than this one but I don't know it's certainly more convenient with selling fish although we've done better with grayling down here I think that's another one yes Ooh. We are so close. That's the first large one we've had. I think the very first dace we caught here was a large one. I don't know that we've had another one since then. Now, one thing that's really cool, if you have premium, you can see what all the quests are on any map without traveling. The daily quest, I should say. So like this bluegill is still there for another hour, eight minutes on Thousand Island, Thousand Islands, the USA map. Um, but like with Germany, where's Germany? Germany, which is the other map we could go to later today if we do another episode. I can't find Germany. Russia, Scotland, USA, Czech. Norway, Iran. Oh, you know why? Because Germany, like the, f well, no, oh, there's Germany. Sorry, it's at the very top. Okay. So it's any fish up to 20 kilos. That sounds like a lot, but it's only because there's carp at Germany. So that can go really fast if you fit, if you have a gear, a gear for carp. And then Russia is a little bit more 35 kilo. But it is cool that you can see what the daily quests are from anywhere. All right, let me take a quick bio break. Hopefully those last days will, oh, hold on. We'll check this first. Oh man, is this gonna do it? Oh, we finished it. All right, I'll be right back. All right. Trophy days. Did we get silver for it? No, see, I think we just got the tokens and the experience. Speaking of which, we're now, <laughs> we're now level 10. We're now level 10. All right, let's do a little experiment here. Uh, first of all, we need to check the, see if there's a new uh, income quest before we sell these days. So I think that means we'll get the new daily quest at the pond. Um, too bad, huh? All right. All right, we, we've, we've made enough silver here. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of these for 18 roach. And let's just hold. <gasps> so much for our experiment. All right, I was trying to hit sell single. Okay, so we ended up with almost 600 silver. So yeah, let's just go ahead and because the um, the pond daily, I think will reset by the next time we do an episode. Cause I think it, I think the daily resets in like an hour. Let me double check that though. Once we're here, we should be able to see.
Yes, an hour four that resets. All right, so we're gonna just sit on our silver. I'm just curious, do they sell bigger? Yeah, they do. So like, for example, we could sell this. We can have up to 40 kilos of weight and 50 pieces of fish, not sell this. We could buy this. Um, but maybe we wait and look and see what the uh, options are at Germany. To me, that would be the cutoff point. Like, there's no way we want to sell. We want to save for 1250 right now. But to get that one, I'm pretty sure there are other options on later maps. I feel like the first time I played this game on my main account, I got to Russia, and I saved for a ridiculous amount of time and bought a really nice one. But I don't think it was a grindmaster. I think it was a different one. So, anyway. I do want to get this um, rod pod. Maybe we start off with the cheap one. The only difference is, I think, is that this one has the um, indicators built in. And this one doesn't. This one might be taller or something too, but I'm not sure. I do want to get this, but we're not going to prioritize that before we have some carp gear and stuff. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. What are we at time-wise? Yeah, that's a good stopping point. This will be a little shorter episode. So let's stop now, and then next episode, like, I think we'll have, you know, next episode I think will be a little later today, and then we'll be able to do the, the daily at the pond again, and maybe try to get, I don't know what we'll target. We'll see what time of day it is. Maybe we'll try to target the silver medal in the crucian or something. And, uh, and then we'll probably go to Germany. But it'll be fun because by then there'll be new daily quests everywhere. So we can check Siberia Inacy again. See what that daily is. Um, yeah, we'll just go from there. I mean, just, I don't know. I'm just having fun. It's just good. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.